This is the official Windows 11 ARM64 running on Apple Silicon Mac. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Windows 11 ARM64 ISO and install it on MVIN or M2 Macs using VMware Fusion for free of cost. This is a complete step-by-step -step guide to installing Windows 11 on Apple Silicon Macs. So make sure to watch this video till the end without missing any parts. And without further ado, let's get started. For demonstrating this video, I used MacBook Air with an M1 chip. To install Windows 11 on MWIN or M2 Mac, you must reserve at least 60 GB or more of free space. With that being said, it's time to download Windows 11 ARM64 ISO. To do so, go to this website and download the free trial version of Parallels. Once the download is complete, double click on the DMG file and install the Parallels software. Now grant permissions to Parallels to access and write to the desktop, documents, and downloads directories. Now after that, you will see this screen. I will skip ahead and choose Get Windows 11 from Microsoft. Click Continue and then select Install Windows 11. The Parallels will now contact to Microsoft server and download Windows 11 ARM ISO. Please ensure that your Mac is connected to your fast internet connection to download this file, which is around 5 gigs in size. Once you see the validation pass, the downloaded ISO will be saved to the downloads directory. Now open Finder, navigate to Downloads, and you will find it. I recommend moving this file to the documents directory or some other directory. That's it, we are done with Parallels. I will close it now. Keep in mind that if you want to play Windows 11 games on Apple Silicon Macs, Parallels is the recommended option. You go to this link using web browser, which will take you to this page. VMware Fusion can be used for personal computing for free of cost. You can also purchase the premium version based on your requirements. Now scroll down the page and click on register with a personal use license. It should take you to this page. Create a user account if you don't have one. In my case, I already have an account, so I choose to log in. After login under the download section, you will find that VMware Fusion is available for both Intel and Apple Silicon Macs. A free license key will be generated for you. Copy it and proceed to download the VMware Fusion DMG file. Once the download is complete, double click on the DMG file and install VMware Fusion. You will be prompted to grant certain permissions to so go ahead and do it so. Also, you can activate the VMware Fusion using the personal license key. Once the installation is complete, you will see this screen. Now let's go ahead and create a new virtual machine. To do so, click on Create the Virtual Machine. Choose Microsoft Windows. Select Windows 11 ARM and click Continue. Next, select UEFI and unselect the Secure Boot. Keep in mind, VMware Fusion supports a virtual TPM and you must encrypt the virtual machine. Set a password to encrypt the virtual machine. Then choose to create a new virtual disk and click on Continue. Now select Customize Settings, name the virtual machine and save it. It's time to tinker and configure the VM using virtual machine settings. I will set the CPU cores to 4. 
then choose CD or DVD. Tick this option and attach the Windows 11 ISO. Keep in mind that by default, when you create a new virtual machine for Windows 11, VMware Fusion allocates 64 GB of free space. You can increase the free space using the hard disk option, but for now, I leave it to remain at 64 GB. Now I'm gonna close this window and click on start to run the virtual machine. Now once you see this text within the virtual machine, click inside it and press enter key to load the Windows 11 setup. Keep in mind, when you tap inside a virtual machine, the cursor will be bound to the guest OS. To release it, press Ctrl plus Command to regain control of the cursor within the host OS. Now you can see the Windows 11 setup screen. Follow the on-screen instructions and install Windows 11. Alright, once it's done, the virtual machine will reboot into Windows 11. Go ahead and choose your country and keyboard layout. Now at this point, you may be unable to progress as it will prompt you to establish an internet connection. To fix this issue, hold Function plus Shift on your keyboard and press F10 to open a command prompt. Then type OOBE backslash bypass NRO exactly as you see in uppercase and press the Enter key to reboot the virtual machine. Now choose your country and keyboard layout again. You will have the option to click on I don't have internet. Now agree to the terms and conditions, create a user account and finish setting up Windows 11. Voila, now you can see official Windows 11 has successfully been installed on the virtual machine. Now compared to Intel-based Mac, Apple Silicon chips are way faster and better in terms of performance. If in case you have a spare Windows 11 license key, you can use it for activation. Now open the search bar, type PowerShell and choose to run it as administrator. Inside here, type this line exactly what you see, which is case sensitive. This command allows for the execution of the VMware tools. Once it's done, go to the menu bar, choose virtual machine, then select reinstall VMware tools. You will see that it has mounted successfully. Go ahead, open the drive and look for the PowerShell script. Right click on the setup file and choose to run it with PowerShell. This will resolve any issues related to graphics, sound and the internet. Next, go to the menu bar, select Window, and choose Virtual Machine Library. Then select the Windows 11 Virtual Machine, and click on Settings from the top right corner. Choose CD or DVD, and untick this option to prevent the Windows 11 ISO from being mounted.
Now head over to settings, choose a system and change the display resolution to the native and scale up the display by 200%. This enables Windows 11 to utilize the full screen and provide a fantastic visual experience. It's recommended to reboot the virtual machine after installing VMware tools to apply the changes. When comparing VMware with UTM, I find VMware to be significantly faster. However, please note that you cannot play games using VMware that rely on basic graphic drivers. If you wish to play Windows 11 games on Apple Silicon Macs, you need to use Parallels. Go ahead, check out the video link in the description for more information. Now, nonetheless, VMware Fusion is more than sufficient for personal use. As a bonus part of this video, I would like to share some helpful tips with you. When running Windows 11 on Apple Silicon Mac, it stores inside internal storage and occupies a minimum of 64 GB of free space. This can be painful if you have a limited storage capacity on your Mac. However, there is a solution for that. If you have an external SSD, you can move the Windows 11 virtual machine and run it directly from the external SSD. To do so, first turn off the Windows 11 virtual machine, then go to the virtual machine library, right click on Windows 11 VM and choose show in finder. This will show the Windows 11 virtual machine disk. You can copy this file to the external SSD. Once it's copied, you can head over to the VMware Fusion Right click on the Windows 11 VM and choose to delete it. Now close the VMware Fusion and double click on the virtual disk you copy to the external SSD to run Windows 11 virtual machine. Now you will see a warning on VMware. Simply choose I copied it. That's it, you're running Windows 11 virtual machine from an external SSD. This could be extremely useful if you have a limited storage capacity on your Apple Silicon Mac. And that's pretty much it. This is how you properly install official Windows 11 on any Mac with Apple Silicon using VMware Fusion 13. Let me know what do you think about it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you at the next one.